Hello, my sweet kittens. Today, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, or questions asked by you guys. Um, if you didn't get to ask, ask me any questions this time, please do put them down in the comments below. And maybe next time I do a QA, and a I'll, ask, I'll answer your question too. So, if you want to hear what questions were asked and the answers to them, stay tuned. Okay, kittens. Um, mo most and about all these questions were asked by the lovely ladies over at Beauties and Geeks group. Um, I did put the um, invite to ask me questions on my Twitter and no one replied since last last night when I um, checked. I did put it on my Facebook uh, group for Dollar Tree. I did it on my main Facebook like profile and the Beauties and Geek community. And the only one that I got to actual um, questions from what's the Beauties and Geeks. I will put the um, name of the people that ask the questions down or on the screen somewhere um, because some of them I do not think I would be able to pronounce correctly and also if they have YouTube channels um, that I know of I will be linking their channel down below as a special thank you for asking the question so please do go see these lovely ladies on their channels um, first question what is your favorite book and why um, this one has changed over the years if you were asking middle school Kelly um, what her favorite book was she would say Alice in Wonderland and the why would be because Alice is in a world she doesn't understand which was what I was going through in middle school I was very much to be going through changes in my life and body that I just did not understand. Um, so Alice in Wonderland would have been middle school Kelly's favorite book. Now if you had asked the same question to high schooler Kelly, I would say the um, Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice, but really I would be talking about that whole series, um, not just Interview with a Vampire. Uh, because I was a goth in high school and that was very much my genre of thinking and and Rice just had a way of bringing that whole world to, to life and word um, and yes I prefer the books over the movies um, sorry uh, <laughs> And then, if you ask adult Kelly right now what her favorite book would be, it would probably be the King James Version of the Bible, the Holy Bible, um, because that is where I get my guidance of how I should live my life, and it also is where I get my encouragement to um, make it through the day each day. Um, Next question. Favorite movie and why? 
all-time favorite movie would be Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for multiple reasons um, but the main one now is because it was mine and my late husband's favorite movie together and we had nicknames for each other from that movie um, so that made it even extra special um, my runner up on that would be The Princess Bride um, cause it's just one of those movies that there's just so many scenes in it that you can just quote from memory and are just iconic so that's why it's like one of my favorite movies and then I've got to do a third runner-up. My third runner-up would be The Dark Crystal. Again, because of my husband and me, it was one of our favorite movies. And we had uh, so many inside jokes about scenes in The Dark Crystal that we would see people out and about. And we would just look at ourselves and laugh. Um, or each other and laugh because they would remind us of people or things out in the dark crystal so that's why the dark crystal is another one of my favorite movies and then the forefront up I know this is supposed to be one movie but I just have so many the fourth movie would be um, the Lambert with David Bowie because that's just the, the perfect movie as well it has a lot of quotes that I still kind of use um, jokingly to myself because I'm the only one that knows about it now in my group of friends right now so but I just those four movies were like movies and then my fifth movie would be Batman the first Batman with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson I, that, that would be my favorite Batman movie of all time. Okay, so, and being a Batman fan, I did have to put Batman in there somewhere. Um, <coughs> next question. Favorite show and why? Um, actually, this is a hard question because right now, I'm not really at like this ultimate favorite um, show anymore. Um, Back in the day, if you asked me that, it would probably have been like some superhero TV show. Um, now, I love those shows, but they're not like absolute favorites. Um, out of those shows, I still really like um, Flash. Gotham got really good last year because it was finally telling the story that it said it was going to tell. A Flash because Flash is like the actual comic books brought to life. That's the reason I like the Flash. Because um, as a teenager and a middle schooler, I was all about comics. Um, I collect them. I read them. Um, that was very much my coping mechanism to get through my day is I would escape into the world of comics and so that's why the comic books um, TV shows are so my thing uh, and my faves but absolute favorite TV show I don't really have one right now I have ones I like, but they're not like absolute favorites. Um, it says, if you had to eat one thing for a year, what would it be? This, I actually think I have a perfect solution for this. Pizza. Go with me on this. Pizza can be any food. You can make a breakfast pizza. You can make a taco pizza, you can make a hamburger pizza, 
You can make a dessert pizza. You can just make a regular pizza. Pizza can be any food you want it to be, and it still be pizza. So, so on that question, it would be pizza. Okay, next question. What are some of your favorite foods? Well, from the first, the last question, pizza. Uh, anything um, that's Italian, really, or Mexican. I love Italian and Mexican foods so much. Um, Vegetable-wise, would probably be potatoes. Um, I can probably eat a potato any way you could cook it. Um, and I know this is like generic, but my favorite meat is honestly chicken. Uh, and my favorite cereal, because this is favorite foods, my favorite cereal is Lucky Charms. Always has been. Um, so let's see. Next one. If you could travel anywhere, where to? I have this dream to someday be able to, because physically, I probably couldn't do this right now, to physically be able to load myself up on like a tour bus scenario. Uh, and just go visit everybody that I have become friends with on YouTube and online and just go hang out with them for a couple of days or a day or so um, and make these friends that I don't know real life friends um, that would be like my ultimate travel dream um, and if you meant like afar, I would go all of the places um, that like the National Treasure Art is, like Rome and Paris and places like that, go to the Lou, because in high school I was very much the art geek. Um, I love studying about art history and the Middle Ages and the Renaissance and all that kind of stuff. My favorite artist used to be Leonardo da Vinci. Um, and he also was like my favorite scientist because he, he created so many things. Um, so that would kind of be the two things I would like to do on travel wise. Um, Next question is, what is your favorite hair color you have had? Actually, my favorite hair color I've had is my current one. Um, the plum you can't see hardly anymore though. But I really did like the plum after I got used to it. It took me a couple days to get used to it, but I really do like it. Um, And a second would be, I, I did do burgundy one time, and I really liked that as well. Um, I think my complexion really goes good with the warmer tones. So, when it goes to like reds and brighter purples and stuff like that, I think my complexion takes to it. Um, how many hair colors have you had? Uh, Let's see. My natural hair color was medium brown when I was a kid. A, a kid. Um, then I dyed it like a reddish brown in high school. Then I dyed it jet black when I went through my golf stage. And I kept it dyed jet black for many years after. Then I went back to brown. Then I done burgundy. And then I done this plum. And that's all I've done so far. Um, I 
was really um, considering doing other colors um, later on in life. Um, I used to joke with my husband that when I got to be in my late 50s, early 60s, I would be like the um, Mrs. Bucket on um, Are You Being Served and have a different hair color each week um, if I had to buy wigs to do so. <laughs> and he used to joke at, uh, laugh at me, but I was dead serious about it. Um, next one. What was the one you would not go back to? Um, I've never really had a hair color that I didn't like. Um, I've always secretly wanted to try like the lighter shades like blonde or something like that and to see but I just don't know if I could be a blonde if I look right but I'm not going back I've never had a hair color I didn't like so far I'm saying so far you guys um let's see Next says, wait a minute, I'm losing my place. Here we go. Okay, next one. What is your favorite place to go in your town? Um, my favorite place to go in any town is the Dollar Tree. But I know you mean like somewhere that only my town has, and that would probably be our local mall, um, which is dying like severely dying um, the mall's heyday has kind of came and gone and if they don't get some kind of major um, big store back in there uh, I don't see it lasting over another five years um, I'm hoping that they'll get a theater because our town used to have a theater, then our theater closed, and now we don't have a theater. Um, so you have to go 25 miles one way or the other to go to the movies um, or more. So I would love to see our mall get a theater and then it start booming again. but. One of the main reasons the mall is my favorite is because as a teenager that's where we all hung out and it used to have an arcade and I would stay in an arcade and, it used to, and the comic book store used to be in the mall. It's now in another part of the town but the comic book store and the arcade used to be in the mall and that was my two hangouts. Um, now. I like it because it's got places to sit and you can just sit there and it has really good internet so yeah I can just go and play it on my phone on the internet and it's Bath and Body Works is in the, the mall so that was another reason I like the mall. Okay next question where were you born and grew up there? Did you grow up there or did you relocate after you got married? Um, Okay, this is kind of a gotta come with me answer. Um, I was born in Texas. I only lived there to I was like one, so I have no memories of Texas, but family vacations back to show me stuff. But I was born in Texas. We moved to Alabama, where we're presently living now. Well, same city anyway. Uh, I lived here until I was 18, and I got the bright idea that when I graduated high school, <laughs> I had to be on my own, and I could not live under my parents' roof anymore. Like every other stupid teenager uh, that really needs not to do that 
because you are so young that you do not know what you're doing. But anyway, I decided I would move to my grandma's house, get a job, and be my own woman. Um, which I did. Uh, and I don't regret it. It's just I didn't have any time to be out of school and just absorb what was about to happen in my life um, which I highly recommend people that are in that situation absorb what's going on before you make any rash decisions but anyway um, I moved to my grandma's I got a job in fast food um, I worked there for almost two years and then I got the idea that we wanted to go to college and I done pretty good in college until <laughs> algebra happened and being dyslexic algebra and my dyslexia did not agree so I lost my grant because I failed the algebra class so many times um, and I also injured my back so it made it where it was impossible for me to go back to school because my back was injured plus I had no grant anymore um, I met my husband um, up, up there where my grandma lived so I lived up there for 20 years with my and 19 of them were with my, with, was with my husband um, because I lived there for a year before we started officially dating. Um, I kind of met him immediately. Um, I talked on the CB radio and I like the second night I was there we started talking. We talked for a year before we actually met in person. Um, and then after we met in person, um, we never left each other's side until he died. Um, but we were with each other constantly until he died. Um, but I digress. Um, next question. What is your favorite holiday? Okay. This one is kind of hard. Um, I love Christmas. I love the true reason for Christmas that God sent his only begotten son down to be the sacrifice for our sins. Um, but I also like the giving other people gifts. Um, I'm one of those people that enjoy the giving and seeing other people opening gifts that you gave them especially if there's something that's really thought out and you know for sure they really want it or it's something that would really touch their hearts um, I really like that part of Christmas um, it's okay to get gifts and everything but that's not the main reason for me anyway um, I also love Halloween, but not like the spooky part of it. As a kid, I always said the, the candy part of it, but, uh, as a teenager, I kind of got more into the, like, dressing up part of it, and you could, you could totally dress up like your favorite characters, or someone you really admire, and it's totally alright that that one day of the year to be somebody different. So that was why I always liked Halloween. Um, and I've always loved New Year's because New Year's is my birthday. And you got to love New Year's because it's your birthday. Um, next question. Uh, do you have any pets? Currently I do not have parents. Pants. 
pets that are mine. Um, my mom and dad have two dogs. One's outside. It's that's a um, one of them sheep herding dogs. I forgot what it's called, but she's black and white. And she has a green eye and a blue eye. She's the prettiest little dog you've ever seen, um, and she is also the friendliest little dog you would ever meet. Um, my mom and dad also has a Chihuahua Fice Russell Terrier mix. It's somewhere all in there. Uh, that you all, if you've watched any of my videos, have probably seen Snoopy, the little dog that sometimes is in my videos. Um, he's their dog, but he has got so attached to me, they say I've distilled him from them. Um, I also have two stray dogs that um, I've kind of got attached to me because I'll go out there and actually pay attention to them and feed them and stuff. Um, but I only do that because I hate to see anything be lonely or hungry in this life because I know the feeling um, of the loneliness part uh, too well. And I can't watch, I can't just sit around and watch anything starve. I'm just too kind hearted. Okay, next. Do you like reality TV? Um, yes. I have reality TV shows I like to watch, but I've kind of got out of it. Um, but the ones I used to watch is All of the Little Women shows um but mainly the Atlanta little women I liked the Dallas ones too um the Real Housewives of Atlanta and New, Jer New Jersey um I also used to watch the um Duggars a lot. Um, I done forgot what that was even called. <laughs> and uh, but right now, there's not really any reality TV shows that I watch. But those have been ones I watched, and I used to watch RuPaul's Drag Race a lot. But I kind of got out of that too. I don't know if it's my depression or my grief, but I've not really watched that much TV less so often. <laughs> it's just not appealed to me um, as of late. Okay, next question. How many siblings do you have and where do you fall in line? Okay, this one is easy. <laughs> I'm an only child. But if you want to count this, the closest I got to having siblings were my cousins on both sides. On my dad's side, I would be the youngest. On my mom's side, I would be the oldest girl. Um, because I have one other cousin that's the same age as me that's a man, a, a man. so me and him were the exact same age so we were both kind of the oldest but not really <laughs> anyway he didn't ever really hang out with the other all of us so I was the one that hung out with my other cousins the most so that was the closest I came to having siblings or cousins. Um, and the last question is favorite drink. Okay, this changes with seasons. Um, in the summertime, I would say sweet iced tea. Um, in the fall, it would be hot beverages with pumpkin spice. <laughs> flavoring or hot chocolate um, 
winter time would be probably hot peppermint tea or eggnog um, and then the springtime would probably be iced tea or just cold ice water and here lately I've been really getting back into Kool-Aid like I'm a kid or something but I've really got into drinking like red Kool-Aid or grape Kool-Aid for some reason I don't know I'm going through a midlife crisis or something I don't know but I really got into drinking Kool-Aid again like I like I'm like I was like I didn't when I was a kid um so this has been the questions that you all have asked if you would like me to do this again please leave your question down in the comments below and if I get enough comments enough questions down there I might do this again um, like I said I will link all the people that ask questions if they have YouTube channels down below thank you all for asking the questions um, I could not have made this video without you because you provided the questions uh, and if you hadn't already and you like these like this type of video please do give me a like it helps the, this channel to grow and if you hadn't already please do click that subscribe button we always have room for a new kitten in this litter um, please enjoy your day don't just endure your day and be kind to one another and I will see you in the next video bye bye love you all Flex my pain I'm about to explode